Welcome back. All right, so this is uh, how to install our Solution A wheel centering pins. So what you're looking at here is our demo stand. So what we have is we've got a real hub and a brake drum we'll show you later. We've got a real aluminum wheel, a steel wheel. So I want you to walk out to your truck right now and does this look familiar? The other thing I want you to look at, I want your brain to go 6 and 12. And I want you to see that tolerance and slot back there. So why are we going to use a true balance wheel centering pins? To center. So you know if we take something round and put it in a perfect center position and spin it, it's round. But if we take something round, like our wheel here, and have it off center, what's it going to do? Go down the road like an egg. So let me show you how to install our, our true balance wheel centering pins. So what we're going to do is remove our wheel. We're going to get our centering pins out. They're threaded. So we'll start off the 12 o'clock step, and we'll get these threaded on. And we'll go to our 4 o'clock position. So it's threaded on. We'll come over here to our 8 o'clock position. And we'll thread these all the way down to the back of our brake drum. Alright, so after we got our three guide pins out and installed, we'll just take our hand wrench. We just need to snug it. We don't need 10,000 pounds of torque. So they're just a simple guide pin. So, all right, we got our three guide pins on, so now let's install our wheel. So, let's get our wheel, tire and wheel here. We're going to slide it over our three guide pins. Uh, now let's look. Look at that. Let's go down here. I can't move that anymore. Look, I ain't got no slop. I ain't got no slop in here anymore. So at this point, we're completely centered. So now let's take our seven flange nuts, put our lug nuts on, get our impact, hammer everything down. Nice and tight. Now we'll unthread and take our three guide pins off. And we'll take our guide pins over to the next wheel position.